videos, do you know that um, so it's inverted? He's an astronomer from Columbia University, uh -huh. and then he gave it to the painter, but the painter didn't paint it um, over her, his head. They now right in front of oyster, oyster bar, bar yeah. and you know what's in here wow. this is the whispering gal no here there you talk to her can you hear her you think that information right the fact going up to the you know whenever we say, I'll see you at the clock at the Grand Central, that's where it goes. Hmm. You just try the speakeasy bar. It's the Gamble Bar. The bar, can I see? You can take a picture. Just, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. sure. that type of ID, na, yes. the COVID ID. And we don't really have to present an ID, we just have to present the, yeah, just, just that one. See? Oh. See, that's a Quezon City, uh, Manhattan Clam Chowder. This one is, uh, I should have ordered New England. New England Clam Chowder. <laughs> Three days prior to our flight, we uh -huh. need to get a negative test. But there, there are two, funny, there are two types of tests. The cheap, the cheaper one is called antigen. Yeah. It's around 800 pesos. And the other one is RT-PCR. It's almost 3,000 pesos. Oh my god. So which one do you have to take? I took the Before you took the one. flight, you have to, to take that test, the yes. antigen. Yeah. And you have a choice of taking which one? So they would... Uh, ask you, they would lure you to get the, the more expensive one, but we did the research, so we took the cheaper one. So when we get to the airport, they were looking for the more expensive negative test result. No way! Yeah, so I told them, uh, I was able to chat with Cathay Pacific online, and I have it here with me, and they said it's okay, antigen test, negative test result, it's okay. And then I went to both the diagnostic center and then the airline were looking for the more expensive negative test result. Oh my God. The yeah. airline? Even the airline? Yeah. So it's like... Right now. No. The new cases are... Right increasing? Uh, yeah. It's around... Uh, when, it, when we left, around 15,000 for that day. But the highest was around 24,000 new cases. Your flight with Cathay Pacific was full. Yes. Wow. I think uh, what happened was, yeah, they, canceled they tried twice. to fill in the, the old plane, I think. So they would cancel so that they would only have like mm. planes to, I guess, I guess, that's mm. it. Mm. So in Manila, uh, they enforce uh, physical distancing, mm -hmm. which is good, but in Hong Kong, Terrible. So there's no six Which feet one? distancing no. in, in, when you um, but inside the plane. No, when uh, immigration boarding, no, when you board, yeah, uh, in the boarding, uh, correct. The gate, the board, gate. It, but they, they don't really enforce you to do. They just tell you, oh, you have to. Do. When you landed in JFK, what what did they ask you at the immigration? Nothing. Just just our passports. Did they ask you for your COVID vaccine? Even at the immigration, they didn't ask you if you have a COVID. How did they expect you to go to the restaurants if you didn't have that? But how do they know what's fake and what's not? They did ask in JFK, actually. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. There's no asking about COVID vaccines. So when you fly out of Manila, they're going to ask you for a COVID vaccine ID or no? 
um, no, it's just a negative test result. Okay, there you go. This is what I'm saying. Even if you're unvaccinated, you can, you can travel yes. from Manila to the, to the U.S. Because even in Hong Kong, they did not ask you no. for the COVID. Um, no, they did not. And even if you do, you, there's no way of telling what's fake and what's not, right? right. Can... So, Lily, since you work for NYU, uh -huh. are the cases increasing in NYU hospitals? No, it's going down. Wow, so since we opened, because like Broadway is already open, yeah. it's going down? It's going down. Woohoo! Yes, New York! You go to you! <laughs> Our flagship is Times Square. And the one that really is the heart and soul of Times Square, are they you know, really, they're the tourists, right? We need them back to show that we are able to live with COVID and we need to show the world that. So that, back. Yeah, so that people could also have confidence in their own countries. Like Other, mm -hmm. yeah. History. But, History. Yeah. History. yeah, but people are good. good with following policies. And we have you know, a lot of people are getting vaccinated and that helps. Yeah. It's a video. Huh?